hello happy friday how's everybody doing today oh my goodness um what a glorious day it was here today cool it was like 64 degrees with a nice breeze love it uh welcome to chocolate one my name is beth i'm a designer with Choc Couture. i come on here every day about four o'clock <clears throat> to do a fun little crafting project with you. Um, so if you're watching, please comment, say hello. If you see the red rectangle button up here, that means that you're catching this while I'm doing it live, recording it live. And if you don't see it, that means that you're catching the replay, but still drop a comment down below. It really helps me. Um, and sprinkle this to your other DIY friends. I will do the same. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to share it to the group, the Beth Hitchcock Chocolate Tour group, aka the VIP group. Um, so that's done. So we're going to do this transfer today. I love it. We're going to do farmhouse ish because that's kind of that pretty much fits what we have here in North Idaho, or farmhouse-ish. We have chickens, we have cats, we have dogs, we have fruit trees. We've yet to get the garden going. That's probably not gonna happen. It's just been way too cool of weather for that. Um, but I love this. You get four. Um, hello, Rhonda. Um, nice to see you. You get four different projects on this one. This is a C size uh, transfer. So, and then th I have this one also. I think we might put this little frame around it. This is, and these are called, what is this one called? I just thought it was really clever for, it's made just for those simple shapes. And that's what, simple frames is what it's called. And that's what we're using today. We're using a simple shape, the rectangle. So, How's your day going, Rhonda? You having a good day? I'm good, I'm good. Okay, I'll leave this out because I'm probably gonna need that. I like to, uh, whenever, <clears throat> whenever I have, whenever I use anything that has the white wood, like this has the white wood on it. Let's see if this is, this is a different design on it, but this has the white wood on it. Um, any of these frames that have that, any of these surfaces that have that, I like to sand it down. Um, for whatever reason, I feel like it, um, I feel like I don't get the feathering. Because I, I really like my lines to come out crisp when I'm talking. And it doesn't take much. <clears throat> Which is good because this sanding block doesn't have much left to it. So I don't know if the wood grain is um, kind of printed on this, but this just really smooths it out really nicely. And we can add a little distressing, although I'm going to paint it, so I don't know how much of that's going to actually show. really makes it nice and smooth. <clears throat> I'm all about the smooth surfaces. I really like that a lot. Okay, now I've got, I've got two different, I, I don't have this in black, these nice little small sample bottles, but I have this Americana chalky finish decor. And this is a black chalk paste. Oh, I have not used this in a very long time. There we go. <clears throat> so yesterday we inked the shirt that said Crastinate. Um, I got so good at it I went pro. I was talking about needing to exercise, so I did do a little extra walking today. 
Got to start slow when you haven't been doing it. So that's what I did. So let's get painting here. My idea was to put um, mostly black, but I want to put, I want to throw some blue highlights in there. So let's go. Let's paint this. Good. Hi, Christina. How are you doing? You look like you had, I saw your post, it looks like you had an eventful day of sorts. And I have my Mr. Ugly Mat out today, so I don't care if I get paint on it. It's going to be just fine. Oops, that in a minute. I thought that with the blue in there, it would, um, I, I love that, I love that uh, blue in country stuff. And this doesn't really, it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, I'll try and get most of it covered for sure. Try not to put my thumbprints on. I'm going to try and get my edges. <clears throat> I've been noticing I'm not paying attention to my edges. And I want to get everything covered. And my fingerprints. All right. Cover up my fingerprints again. Alright, let's dry this. This looks pretty good. And we'll add a little bit of the blue in there. <coughs> um, one thing, boy, it, is, it's, it was so windy today and the um, cottonwood is blowing like crazy and my allergies have just kicked up like nobody's business. switch cords out here. I like it that Chalk Couture makes it really easy and sells surfaces designed for their... Hey, Barb, how are you? Are you back from camping? Um, <clears throat> designed surfaces that, that coordinate well with their, their projects. But you've seen me lately. Um, I'm using a lot of different surfaces, um, found surfaces, and that's something that's really nice, too. I find myself going around my house and thinking, huh, I could chalk on that. I actually found something in my bathroom that I didn't think about before, but I think I might pull down. It's a large, old mirror with a built-in shelf on it. And I thought, boy, that'd be really cute to have something chalked on that little shelf. And then that little shelf I made the other day, it looks so cute with my new essential oils that, I'm get, that I have. So I don't think I'll use that paintbrush. We'll use this paintbrush. I'm gonna get a little blue country charm in there. This is such a pretty color. And you know what we should really do? I should really, um, just dry brush this on. So let's do that. Dry brushing is where you take most of the paint off of your brush and then you just, yes. And I got a big splotch there, darn it. Not 
me see. I don't know if I'll be able to just get this a little bit wet and see if I can thin that one spot out there a little bit. Okay, I'm liking this. But now I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a little bit more black on it. Then we'll wax it and see how we like it. I'm sorry I put that brush in there. Let me get that one out. And dry it off on my dish mat over here. And let's just see if we can, well, we'll, we'll do the same thing. A little bit more. There we go. Whoops. Well, we're having all kinds of fun. I think I like that. That's what I was that's what I was hoping for just to get that hint of blue in there. <clears throat> I was thinking what is that what's that um What's that word for when copper turns that pretty blue color? I forgot what the word for that is. The tiki? <clears throat> I don't remember. Okay, I'm not going to bother with that little cardboard thingy. We'll wipe some of this off just so it's not quite so messy right there. I think you guys, what I did was I ended up buying, I had, um, this is our self-healing mat, and I really love it. Um, it's so handy when you're measuring things to have it right there. Um, but I didn't know that you couldn't use, um, like, Mod Podge glue on it. And I ended up getting that all over, and then I got paint all over it. And I thought, it looks so messy, I'm kind of embarrassed to use it. So I bought a new one that I use for doing pretty things on. Um, and then this, I named him Mr. Ugly. He's for, he does all the hard work. Okay, let's get some wax on here now. Sometimes I like to heat up my wax a little bit to really make it glide on nice and smooth. Doesn't take much. do is heat it back up a little bit more. A lot of heating. I like to use my heat set, my uh, quick dry tool a lot. You can kind of see it start to get a little shiny. That's where the wax is heating up. You probably can't see it, but if you were here in my little craft room with me, you'd see it. And then when you buff it out, it's absolutely beautiful. Huh. It. So we kind of 
aged that a little bit. I like blue spruce, I think. Okay. So let's get rid of that. We'll put that in there. And just so I can stay true to what I talk about. Make sure I'm not getting paste anywhere. We'll put this, we'll put the beautiful one down. Ah, oh, look at that. It's a brand new, brand new uh, craft table. So let's get our transfer out. And this transfer is called Homestead. So I'm going to write Homestead on the top of it. And this is called uh, Single Frame, Simple Frames. And you can see this has such cute designs that you could um, use on your simple shapes. Let's get this, we need to cut it apart. Now I've decided where I'm going to hang this. I have a, I have a um, really rustic uh, rocking chair in my backyard under a little gazebo-like thing. I'm thinking about putting it on that, <clears throat> hanging it on that. So I'm going to cut this apart. Um, I'm going to zip across the cut line. I'm not cutting the backer sheet. Sometimes they zip a little faster than others. I'll go ahead and do the other two, two lines. This keeps when I when I prepare my my transfer this way, it keeps them all on the sheet for me, so they don't fall into a, a, you know a bunch of little transfers at the bottom of that envelope because I hang them on a, a grid wall. Works for me, but everybody has their own way of doing things. Farmhouse fish. It's a noun, a rustic dwelling minus the actual farm. We, we, are, we are on a beautiful 10 acres, um, but like I said, I wouldn't call it a farm. Chickens, barn cats, and dogs. Deer, skunk, coyotes, fox, um, you know, all those, all those country animals that are a delight to see, I have to say. All right. I'm gonna put this down first because I'm not 100% sure that frame is gonna actually fit around it. But let's get this, oh, you know what? I'm going to actually put it down a little bit low because I'm gonna put holes at the top. There we go. I'm gonna do this in white. I thought about putting a pattern behind it, and that would be cute. The, the farmhouse tile is too busy. Country plaid would probably be too busy. I think I'll just go with this. So let me grab the white. Oh boy, that's kind of thick looking. We're going to add a little bit of, it's a little bit thick. We're going to add a little bit of distilled water. Here it is. Just thins it down a little bit. You want it to be the consistency of yogurt. Um, we hardly have any problems with our, with the paste getting really thick and clunky anymore. I don't think there are any problems with it, like the old paste formula. But if you haven't used it for a while, it can get a little thick, so you want to make sure you have it the right consistency. Let me grab a squeegee. Where are we? Here's one. We'll use a small squeegee because we're going to do the whole thing 
and white. I'm just going to pull it across that silk screen. Make sure I'm covering all of the silk screen. And with paste, you can go any direction. With ink, you, I, I prefer to go one direction with ink. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold your squeegee at a 90 degree angle and go back through and skim it down. Put your extra back in the jar. Now, we'll do the peel and reveal. So pretty. So, isn't that nice? I love it. I feel like there's room at the top for a little something in here. Well, look. Got some stuff over here we can <clears throat> look and see. I'm going to set this here on my dish mat <clears throat> and spray some, just spray some regular tap water on it. The water, and I put it on, I put it on very uh, liberally. Okay. The water I put in here, I don't know if I mentioned, that's distilled, and that's really important, I believe. Uh, the company teaches that also, because uh, you don't want to grow mold in your paste. All right, that's good. That's good. Let me see here. Harley's playing with his dinner bowl. This little weather vane would be really cute up here. Maybe we'll do that and then put these little elements to the side. I think we'll do that. It's so fun. I'm sure this is retired transfer. Uh, farm Sweet Farm. I don't know when it came out. 2018, yeah, that's an old one. That's what's so great about these. These are reusable eight to 12 times with good care. So make sure you wash them. Don't leave them sitting around. Let's try this first. empties his bowl and then he likes to run around with it in his mouth and growl. I don't know. He's a strange dog. This feels, so I think sometimes the older transfers are actually a little stickier, so. Our baby chick that hatched about mm, four for, oh, maybe two months ago. It's so cute, he's getting so big, and I think it's a rooster, and it's gonna, I think it's gonna look like it's dad. I don't know if we're gonna get the whole weather vane in there. Let's see, what is the middle of this? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's twelve inches, so one, two, three, four, five. That's the middle. Gosh, I'm afraid. Scoot it over just a little bit so it's in between the letters. Oh my 
much off am I? It's about an inch off though. I don't know if we're gonna put the things on the side. That might look funny. It needs it pretty much needs to go in the center here. We'll just we'll just miss a little bit of the end of that weather vane <clears throat> pole. Same thing, just go through and skim it off. Cute, I like it. Let's dry that and see if you want to put the little side leaves on. That's what's nice about how I hang up my transfers. I ha I'm able to see them. I mean, they're stacked, but this happened to be in front, so that was handy. And that's why I write on the envelope, too, because it's easier for me to go through and find them. Look at I haven't... I've only used little pieces of this. it over here. Okay. I think we dried him already. Where's the other one? This one. Same over here, Ardo. That'll work. Okay. Just those, just those extra little pieces are so fun. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Isn't it cute? Now let's see if we're going to even be able to dry those. We'll see if we'll be able to get the frame around it. We may not even need it. going to fit or not. Might 
be too close to the edge here, but we'll we'll see. Because I think it I think it would be cute if it did fit. And I was thinking, I don't think the polka dots will fit, although that is adorable. We'll see if this solid frame down here fits. this one some fuzz because all of this middle area that's sticker and I don't want it to pull up the paste that we just put down as a matter of fact I might put a little bit of if I get it fuzzy enough I was gonna say you can put a little bit of wax over that and that will help protect the paste that we just put down so, now that we know this is, of course, it's all sticker, if you are going to use this transfer, I would use this one first, and then you're not going to risk pulling that up. I'll just very lightly, just very, very lightly go over this. Just a little extra insurance. Oh, it's not because we put the we put the rooster too high up. No. If we hadn't have added the rooster in there, we would have been able to do it. I think. But because we did. No, nope. so that's not going to work. Darn it. But the rooster looks cute up there, or the weather vane. We'll save this for another time. It's going to get used for sure. I kind of stocked up on these simple, on these rectangle simple shapes because they are so fun to work on. Okay, so now let me kind of clean up a little bit of this mess here. Let me just get my transfers over to the side. I need to get the I need to get my hole punch out. And this is called a this is called a crocodile. Can you guys see? Um, but Chocotour sells a smaller one. I had this already, so I didn't I didn't buy one. But I'm gonna, and what I'm thinking is that I'm gonna take the twine, so I think I'll just go up here, kind of to the sides a little bit. I'm gonna take the twine and then um, wrap it around the, the kind of the swing that I have. Which one am I on, on the big one? That'll work. I just get it in there straight. Same thing here. Wood is really easy to punch through. And some twine. I had it out 
earlier. Here it is. Or some jute or twine, whatever you happen to have. I don't, and I don't know how much I'm going to need because it's going to, like I said, it's going to wrap around the chair. But what I will do is do this so you can get an idea. Do I have a little piece, I wonder? I usually have twine everywhere. Oh, that's kind of a long piece too. So, anyways, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go through there. Uh-oh, I'm going to cut off the chicken head. Oh, it'll be fine. Anyways, it's going to wrap around. I'll have to get a picture of this once I get it out there. But isn't it cute? It came out really nice. and I like the colors on it. So, all right, you guys. That's all I have today. I'm going to go clean my transfers and put them away. And I will be back tomorrow at 4 o'clock to chalk and talk with you again. Enjoy the rest of your Friday evening. And until we chalk and talk again, take good care.